I was basically from a, a poor family and uh, till uh, 12th standard it was a free education because I was able to get into the residential schools and residential colleges. It, it, there are government uh, schools and colleges and it's uh, virtually free education. Uh, in my 10th standard I was a, a state second ranker and in my 12th standard also I was a state ranker and after that it was like a, I was kind of stuck because that's where the, the free education stops in India. After 12th standard you, you don't have a free education in India. Okay, here in the US for $250 what can you get? Even to, if you go to college how much it costs one credo? A lot of money here. But you can send a poor child in India for a whole year. One fine day by, by God's grace I happened to see a a little notification about NSF in one of the uh, daily newspapers in India and what it says was uh, we financially help the poor and uh, bright students and uh, when I looked at it I said uh, yes I am poor and I am a bright student so I did apply for it and fortunately I was selected and I was offered a scholarship of uh, $200 per year for all four years of my graduation so that was such a such a tremendous such a, a timely help that i got from nsf and with that timely help i was able to complete my graduation and then i did my masters from iit kharagpur and now i am settled as a, as a software professional working you know, here in us and there are several uh, organizations or you know several areas either the government or the other programs welfare programs they take care of several groups but the foundation they take care of a specific sect of people those who doesn't fit into any of those the government or other areas